If you're an Amazon seller, have you ever been on one of your listings and thinking, man, should I be listing this on Walmart as well? It's no secret that Walmart is much smaller than Amazon and it may not be worth your time. On the other hand, it is growing and so maybe you should be listed there. The truth is you often just don't know as some product categories on Walmart are rocking it and others are still trying to find their legs. Today, most Amazon sellers either just ignore Walmart but kind of have this nagging feeling that maybe they should be paying more attention to it or others are going all in listing their catalogs on Walmart only to find that it's a disappointment and it's not selling to their expectations. Instead, what if you could see the demand on Walmart and the competition while browsing Amazon? Well, that is exactly what the DataSpark Chrome extension allows you to do. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you'll be able to analyze a supplier catalog and look at the profitability and the demand you might expect on Amazon and Walmart side by side. All right, so suppose that you're on this listing here and it's either your listing or your competitor listing and you're just wondering, how much is this doing over on Walmart? Well, what we've done is if you have the DataSpark Chrome extension, and I'll go ahead and put a link into the description of how you can install that for yourself, you're gonna be able to scroll down and we've matched up the entire Walmart catalog to the Amazon catalog and boom, right there you'll be able to see this walmart.com product data summary. So this item we've estimated is doing 418 units per month for about 26,000 in sales. Its price is 64.46. You can compare that, same 64.99. Uh, so slightly lower on Walmart. And here's the rank in Mother's Day Crafts is where it's ranking the best. Walmart is not selling it, so it's a third party only item. Now, the cool thing is if I want even more insights, I can click right here and you can come to our DataSpark page where we're going to show you everything about the demand, competition, the number of sellers, and you can get the price and the rank trends over time. These are metrics that should be very familiar to you as an Amazon seller. You can see how the number of reviews is growing over time, who's winning the buy box and how much, so you can see Walmart actually has been on it for a bit, and you can go back and see exactly when and at what price they were winning it. You can see where this is placing in various categories and a whole bunch of different product data on the price, the rank, the ratings and reviews, the fees that you might pay if you're going over here, everything you're gonna to need to be able to understand the demand, the competition, and the profitability that you might expect if you sell this. You're also gonna be able to get information about where this is placed on Walmart. This is gonna help you if you do decide to list it or if you're gonna to have to create a listing of what are the keywords you should be using, what are the keywords this listing is winning on, how popular are those on Walmart compared to Amazon, and what the position is of this product on that. So you'll also be able to see which browse nodes it's showing up under, what the rank is, where it places within that rank, and, and how that has changed over the last 30 days. You can also get what the UPC is, the Walmart URL ID, and of course the ASIN that we're on. You can also click here and it'll take you right over to that product on Walmart so you can compare. All right, so I promised I'd show you, if you go back and check out my previous video, I actually show you how you can take a supplier catalog, use DataSpark to do a wholesale analysis to see the profitability and the demand on that item side by side for Walmart and Amazon. It makes it super easy to take a single file and know instantly where you should be selling this and what kind of profit and demand you should expect on each platform. I hope this helps you as an Amazon seller to know if Walmart is worth your time or not, where you can go and while you're browsing Amazon, look at the listings and see if there's sufficient demand on Walmart to make it interesting or not. I hope you like this video and if you want more content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.